When it comes to the money, there is a clear divide in the race for governor. That's right. Tonight, Target 7 examined thousands of campaign contributions to find out what splits our states. Look at these maps. The blue dots represent all the campaign contributions made to Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham, and the reds show those who gave money to her Republican challenger, Mark Ronchetti. If you just look at the map and squint, you see a lot more dots for Ronchetti and contributors throughout the state, because he's picking up contributors in places like Clovis and Portales and Catron County, uh, places that are not all that populous. Really what this is, is a story of urban versus rural. Target 7 went through more than 50,000 campaign contributions and map them. We found 47% of the governor's money comes from areas like Albuquerque, Las Cruces, and Santa Fe. As for Ron Ketty, about 74% of his money is outside of these metropolitan communities. There certainly is a divide. These contributions do sh still show, though, that we are a Democrat state and Democrats are willing to shell out more money. However, um, it's always going to be the case. In the fifth largest state in the nation, you're going to have those cities who feel that they're not being paid attention to. Donors from Roswell, Carlsbad, Hobbs, and Artesia have come in big for Ron Ketty, donating more than $300,000 each. There's this corridor from Roswell to Artesia and Carlsbad and Hobbs, where Mark Ronchetti is getting a lot of campaign contributions. It would have to be in the oil and gas field. Those are folks, even as we looked at their contributions by industry, had really supported his campaign. Those cities who support and lift up that industry should probably reflect it. Luhan Grisham has a big money lead over Ronchetti in Santa Fe, where she has raised eight times more. In Albuquerque, it's a little closer. Ronchetti has raised $1.5 million compared to the governor's 2.8. In Las Cruces, it's a much tighter race. The governor has raised about $33,000 more than Ron Ketty. Our KOAT political analysts say they are not surprised by the numbers in Las Cruces because border security is a key issue in the race for governor. Las Cruces and even Doña Ana County has been an interesting case study to look at in terms of their support for Ron Ketty. People like to say that because he has had time on the airwaves, people inviting him into their homes, that helped him get the Republican nod. But but this tells me there's something else there. About 84% of the $133,000 Libertarian Karen Badonia's raised is from rural areas.